Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Welcome back. A Navy veteran says he took trumpet lessons in grade school, but then he put the instrument down. Yeah. He didn't pick it back up until decades later. As photojournalists Nick Kiefer and Gwen Bevel show us, he's now using his talent to honor heroes. Years before he picked that trumpet back up, John Noonan knew he was going to be drafted, so he signed up for the Navy. Because that's the way I hold it. Navy veteran John Noonan is used to climbing this hill at Veterans Memorial Park. It's a humongous honor. And you often hear that honor. It's just, you know, I play taps and the national anthem and a few other pieces for events. Whether it's a special occasion for Old Glory. <laughs> or welcoming home veterans on the Kansas Honor Flight. This is a gig that keeps me pretty busy. Sometimes he'll play several times in one week, off in the distance. When they're laid to rest, um, they need to have an honor. And he says that goes for all who have served. I've played several homeless veteran taps, and that that just that just eats your heart out. Sometimes he's one of the few to gather at their services along with others just like him who truly understand sacrifice. And then we went to uh, to the Gulf of Tonga. Noonan was a Navy sonar technician. We not only operated the sonars, but we repaired them. They were using sonar to hunt submarines. Really interesting occupation from the standpoint of we learned how sound is delivered and received in water. He says subs ran very quietly. We're sitting ducks. From what lurked below to above. They would have the, the planes taking off, coming back, and we would go alongside the carriers as the battle group. Noonan says they were watching the sky on the USS McMorris. If one of the planes crashed, our job was to go out and do search and rescue. He also served on a destroyer. And we also did gun line duty on the Wallace Lind, in which we were firing onto the shore of South Vietnam and North Vietnam. Noonan did three tours in Vietnam. We were over in the same general area, except we were tracking Russian missiles coming out into the ocean. He says the most impactful was their visit through the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. He says his six years in service taught him so much. You went in as not really understanding war and came out of that just, I mean, it was a life changing experience. And his dedication for serving others still rings true today. Now armed with just a copper bell trumpet. It's a, just a beautiful instrument. And his talent. Note by note, he plays final salutes. You're playing for millions of men and women all around the world who died in battle. He says that's the biggest honor of all, to play for real heroes. <laughs> and it's a call to action and a path he plans to follow as long as he's able. Noonan says one time he was playing an event when a man approached him. He told Noonan he'd never gotten over all the people he killed in Vietnam, so he asked Noonan if when he played, he could play for them as well. Noonan says he agreed, and he's always kept that close to his heart. Here for you, Gwen Bevel, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to be here with this week's veteran, John Noonan. He served our country in the United States Navy and now continues to volunteer and play taps at veterans' funerals. Thank you for your service. You're most welcome. And we do not take money for playing taps at veteran services and events, so this check will be sent to the Kansas Honor Flight so veterans can go to Washington, D.C. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.